At a distance of 44 kilometers from Shush city, there is a historical monument called Shagazanbul Ziggurat. In 1936, one of the employees of the Iranian and British oil company named Mr. Brown, who was originally from New Zealand, delivered a report to his superiors. In this report, it is written that while trying to find oil, we came across a large building that looks like a historical building, 44 kilometers away from the city of Shush. Twenty years after this report, the French archaeologist Roman Gershman started digging in this area and it took 10 years to dig up the Shagaz and Bull Ziggurat. The original name of this building is Duruntash Ziggurat. Ziggurat means high place. Dur means place of residence. Antash is the name of the king who built this ziggurat. The full name of this Elamite king is Antash Neparisha, who in 1250 BC ordered the construction of a huge ziggurat to honor the guardian god of Susa, in Shushinak. But Shagazanbul is the name given to this historical monument these days. Choazanbul in the local language means, upside down basket. In the inscription assigned to Shah Antash, it is said, I Antash Gal, carved golden bricks, I erected here this house for the gods Gal and in Shushinak, and I gifted this sacred place that my work, which is a gift to the gods Gal and in Shushinak, may be accepted. Choazanbul Ziggurat has a square plan and the length of each side is 105 meters. The four corners of the ziggurat represent the four main geographical directions. The height of this building is 53 meters. That means its height is half the size of its sides. The building is built in five floors. And each floor is raised independently from the ground and no floor is built on top of another. A small temple was built on the highest part of the ziggurat, which is called Kokono in the local language. This small building was a home for two gods Gal and in Shushinak. The color of this part of the building was different from the other parts and had a blue color, like the color of the Ishtar Gate. The rest of the building was in the natural color of bricks. The temple is protected by an outer wall, basically three walls, within the first wall are the royal tombs and the water treatment plant. Inside second wall royal palaces were located. And inside of the third wall the ziggurat. It was possible to enter the third wall through seven gates. In front of each gate, a small temple was built for one of the gods of Elam. The gate that was used for the passage of the king was called after the god of Gal, Nosko, Pinikar, Nanilai, Shemet, Manzi, Nepratop, are other gates name. The overall structure of Choazanbul was built with raw clay and bricks were used for the facade. Between each row of bricks, one row of bricks is worked as an inscription and the building process is explained on these bricks. This city continued its life for 600 years until it was conquered and destroyed in 650 BC by Ashur Panabal, the king of Assyria, and it remained underground until 1286 years later. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.